Now that you're a bit more comfortable with forms, let's move on and discuss debouncing and throttling. So you'll remember a few episodes ago, we set up real-time search, which is great. But yeah, have a look at this. If I go to my network tab and we run this search again, notice we're making 10 requests for a single word. Way too much, it's just not necessary. So here's how we might fix that. I'm in my users component, and if I scroll down, yeah, right now we are watching that search input, and when it changes, we immediately make a request. So it sounds like we should say, well, make a request, but don't do it too many times. And we can use Lodash for this. Now, I believe out of the box in Laravel, yeah, Lodash is included as a dependency, but otherwise you can install it like this. Okay, so to use it, let's start with, how about throttle? Import throttle from Lodash, and if we wanna grab one specific function, we can access it as a file like this. Okay, so now we're gonna tweak this just a little bit. Now we're gonna say throttle like so. And to start, why don't we set it pretty high, something like 500 milliseconds. Okay, so with this change, we're basically saying, at most, I want you to trigger this function once every 500 milliseconds. Or in other words, throttle it to once every 500 milliseconds. And to make this even more clear, let's console.log triggered, and we'll have a look in DevTools. Okay, so let's see, go to the console, give it a refresh, and now notice as I'm typing here, I'm not getting 50 or 60 different requests like we would have earlier. Instead, I got one request every 500 milliseconds. Let's do it one more time. I'm gonna look for Ernestina like we did before. All right, let's start from scratch. Ernestina, and now it looks like we did three requests instead of what did we have before, 10 or 20? That's throttling. Okay, so that's a, that's a good improvement. Now, if we try out debounce, I'm just gonna swap this out entirely. Debounce is similar, but just a little bit different. Debounce says, no matter how many times you call this function, I'm only going to do it once after at least 500 milliseconds has passed. So take a look at this. Give it a refresh. And now, as I'm typing here, notice we're not logging anything to the console because I'm still typing. But as soon as I stop, after 500 milliseconds, then it gets triggered. Okay, so sometimes you want throttle, and sometimes you want debounce. So again, just to make this crystal clear, now when I look for Ernestina, when we didn't have any throttling or debouncing, we made dozens of requests, right? But now when I look for Ernestina, I typed the whole word, and then after 500 milliseconds, which was defined here, only after that did we make the request. Okay, so in situations like this, you have to decide which one do you want? Do you wanna wait for the user to finish typing before you make the request? Or do you want the results to update while you're in the middle of typing? That might be useful. And really, there's no right or wrong answer here. I will often just by habit reach for debounce and do something like 300 milliseconds, but yeah, throttling is a good way to go as well. So let's see what this looks like. Refresh, I'm gonna look for Anastina again. And yeah, when I'm done typing, I get the results after a third of a second. Now compare that to throttling, and we'll come back and refresh. Notice now as I type it, you're gonna see some updates while I'm still finishing that name. So it's up to you. Now the general rule might be if you're very sensitive to your server getting hit too hard, maybe you should reach for debounce. On the other hand, if you can handle it and you wanna provide a reasonable amount of instant feedback to the user, then you would reach for throttle instead. In our case, why don't we stick with debounce? And this is what we get. All right, so this is an extremely common pattern that you'll use all over the place. Whenever you're making requests as the result of what a user is currently typing in, you'll just about always reach for one of these functions. 